All right, y'all got goals and y'all wanna reach them, but the question is, are you set up for success to actually do that? Today, I'm talking outcome-based goals versus decision-based goals. And the major distinctive difference between the two of these is that one of these you have absolute control over while the other you don't. So if you can't guess, we have 100% control over our actions, behaviors, and skill sets that we work to obtain. But what we don't have control over is, yes, the outcome. So when we're setting goals, and if we are solely basing our goals off of a desired outcome, I want to lose 20 pounds, I want to sleep eight hours at night, um, it's going to be a lot harder to achieve achieve that goal because we want to put the skills and habits in place in order to do that and we have total control of what we choose to do every single day. So when we think about that, I'm going to walk you through the sleep example. So I have clients, it's like, okay, I want to sleep eight hours every night, feel rested, wake up and feel amazing in the morning. Great. We all want that, right? But if we set that as the goal and then just go about our lives, well, we can't necessarily will our bodies into sleeping perfectly for eight hours every night. I really wish we could do that. That would be amazing. Um, but what we can do is set up an amazing sleep hygiene routine. Maybe it's something that helps you to unwind and relax at night, or maybe it's something that helps you to like decompress and you need something like reading a book or, you know, stepping away from your computer or getting away from technology. It can be a lot of different goals depending on the person. But of course, then we start putting those small habits in place and over over time, magically our sleep improves. It might take a little while to get to our end goal of eight hours, but with these development of skills, habits, and behaviors, you're going to be successful in the long term. So today I just want you to quickly evaluate what goal are you working towards and how have you set yourself up for success with that? So think big overarching goal. What is my big overarching goal? What do I really want to achieve in the next month, six months, year, whatever that might be for you? Then what are the behaviors, actions that I can take in this next month to get closer to that goal? Then we break it down smaller into a week and then into today. What can you literally do today to get closer to your goal. And so if you are like struggling, feeling frustrated because you set a big goal for yourself and you are not achieving it or not getting there, maybe it's just time to reevaluate what actions am I taking to get that goal and maybe just reword your goal instead of going from, I want eight hours of sleep at night, I wanna lose 20 pounds to, I'm gonna eat more vegetables today, or I'm going to try to wind down an hour before I go to bed tonight. So I want you, I wanna challenge you to try that today and just kind of evaluate where you're at with your goals. And if you have questions or you're struggling to break down your big goal into smaller goals, that's what I do all day with my clients and I'd be happy to walk you through it. So feel free to comment below. Um, I would love to chat with you and help you on your journey to achieve your greatest goals. And I will look forward to talking with you all. Hope you have a great Friday.